This video is uh, no DoorDash, no gig content. That right now means, ex it seems extremely irrelevant in my life. Uh, I wanna, I wanna just talk about something. And for those of you that, uh, some of you might need to hear it, want to hear it. Some of you might not. Um, lots been happening if you've been watching the videos. I've run into people, I feel like more in the last week. Hey, YouTube, YouTube, Mr. Ben on you. I saw some people today at Walmart, people are emailing me, saying they're seeing the content, they're appreciating it, and uh, I appreciate that. Um, I have a long journey, but I want to say something because I've been listening to my whole YouTube feed right now is completely changed of what's recommended because I'm watching different things. I'm listening to podcasts. Um, I'm listening to different music on YouTube. I'm listening to music on my Apple. It, things that I never thought I would listen to before of men and people that I've heard of and knew of, but never really gave it a thought to dive into what they were saying and listening to their experiences so you know right now this channel is going to be about me sharing things being vulnerable i heard something from somebody that i'm gonna i'm gonna take um vulnerability can be a superpower and i'm not saying it's mine because i i still have a lot of work to do i have a lot of i have a lot of things to do i have a lot to do a lot of heavy lifting a lot of serious things to feel tough conversations to have with myself and others and really having a form of discipline that I've never had before in my life and I know it's ahead of me and it's very scary but I just need to admit something not really to you but to myself but I want to say it out loud because I think vulnerability begins with honesty to yourself and then having your words have meaning and purpose when you're speaking them, even when you think they're insignificant. And this is all just for me. I've lived, I don't know how to say this, but I don't want to beat myself up because I've been doing a lot of that for the last, who knows, 30 years probably actually since I was a kid. Beating myself up, having a false sense of reality, identity, having a false sense of what I am as a man, as a father, as a brother, as a son, um, as a cousin, what, you know, as a YouTuber, um, as, a, as a leader and manager at the businesses I've worked at, um, a false sense of what is real. This is what's real, and I'm gonna say it, and some, you know, some might feel this. If I'm being honest, and if, I, if I'm gonna be transparent, and I'm, I'm stripping myself of things that I've known, and. I'm a piece of shit. And I always thought that that was, and that's that's all relative. You could take that how you want to. What I mean by that is, I have diseases. I have type one diabetes. I, I, I have an unhealthy relationship with alcohol. I'm an alcoholic because of that. And that is a tough thing to admit, um, but it's the truth. And when I say I'm a piece of crap, it's because I've known better. It's not like I, you know, I, I deal with a lot of other things up here. Thoughts all over the place, high anxiety, undiagnosed ADHD. But people that are close to me have told me I got ADHD, but a professional hasn't. And I'm gonna figure that out and what that looks like. But my brain is always over the place, all over the place. But I do have awareness and I've done things in my life. If I had a body cam walking with me through the entirety of my life, some of the things that would have that would have been videotaped and recorded, I would not know how to even face that with the people that I love. And that is a very hard thing to say. But it's the truth, and I have to. I have to have my truth right now if I want to find peace. I deal with addictions, 
and I've been coping for a long time. But I think part of the healing and part of like just getting to a better place is admitting my faults and sitting with them and saying, all right, man, this is, this is you. You got it. You got to say it. You got to feel it. But it's really hard to like, I'm going to say something that's going to be, it's going to be a little deep, but it's, it's, it's honest. And, and that's not to say the things that I've said on here haven't been real to you guys when it comes to the economy and various other things, but I haven't really been 100% with y'all about everything because really it's none of your business and it is a gig channel, but I'm in a crossroads in my life and it feels good. It feels, it feels hard to feel it. It feels good to say it. I know, I don't know if somebody can relate to that or not, but anyways, where I was going with this is, um, I got great people in my life and this has nothing to, to do or say against them. But because of my ego, my lies, my this, my that, my shame, um, my false sense of reality, my, my, you know, recently having like money where I have disposable income allows you to do things and it gives you a false sense of just your own identity. If you know, you know. There isn't anybody on this world, there isn't anybody in this world that really knows me. Not one human being knows me. And that is not... I don't want, I'm not looking for your uh, sympathy. I just need to say that because I own that. Now that doesn't mean, you know, things didn't happen to me or I wasn't a part of things and I didn't know how to deal with it as a kid or as a young adult or as a man. But at the end of the day, there is not one person on this in this earth that knows me 100%. And I think a lot of us can relate to that on some level for whatever reason. And maybe people don't need to know you all the way and maybe that's too unrealistic. I don't I don't know, but it's hard to walk around in that. It's hard to know who you are when you don't even show the world who you really are. You know, you have this you have this demon inside of you that's just you're fighting him every day. And sometimes you win and most of the times I've been losing. And I've been letting him win. And that seeps into the, my relationships. It seeps into a lot of things in life. But the one thing I have is I'm, I am grateful for the people I have. Some people I have in my life. Because I know that when I'm ready to share certain things. Or have tough conversations. Or just walk around with more confidence in the world. I know I do have people that I can have that with. And that is what's keeping me getting out of bed. Because right now I'm just like, man, it's it's tough to just do basic things, and it always has been for me. Um, and I'm still doing, I'm still working, and I'm still doing some things. But when you feel like nobody really knows you, for whatever reason, it's hard. That's a hard. It's a tough thing. And you wear these masks. I've been so good at wearing these masks and compartmentalizing. And I've been listening to so many helpful men talk about their struggle and you see where they're at now and they, you see that they're in a better place where they're telling you that and it gives me hope. And with this platform, I will continue to share my story. Because when I started this channel, it was better on you, Seckles, one day at a time and that was my subconscious. That was the Pedro that I want to and will become fulfilling my purpose way before I was ready, but I was talking about it and I'm gonna continue to do that. And I have a lot of things to work on. And it seems daunting at times, trust me, it does. And for those of you that can relate, I'm, you, you can relate. It seems daunting and I'm scared and it's not gonna be easy. But I, my two daughters deserve that. To not carry my cross, as Jelly Roll says, is my burden, and it needs to stop with me. 
If I'm going to be a man, if I'm going to be the best version and live my purpose, I have got to be a better father. I can't do that until I become a better man and I really start having some hard conversations with myself and changing my discipline, changing my routine, changing things about me. And drinking was a huge part of that, but it's not the only part. It's not like I'm just going to stop drinking and everything's going to solve itself. No, 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 no. That is the beginning. I appreciate the support y'all are giving me. Um, I cannot put it to words, but I'm going to keep making these videos. I'm going to keep making these videos because it's a way to hold myself accountable. And all I ask from you is that if you feel like you're getting something from this, let me know about it. Don't hide within your own shame or whatever else. Call somebody, reach out, do what you gotta do to try. You can revamp yourself at any point. And I thought I did that years ago when I left my job and went to do this DoorDash and YouTube thing. <laughs> no, not even close. I was kidding myself. I didn't know I, I and some would look at my life if I had that body cam on me being like damn bro you hit rock bottom a few times like you know if that would have happened to me I would have done did this I would have done did that that's cool I get it but everybody's different and everybody's rock bottom could be different and I gotta stop caring about what y'all think about me or about what what I'm trying to present to y'all or what I'm trying to do or what, what I'm trying to look and how I'm trying to do this for this person and this person I gotta stop all that I'm going to stop all that. One day at a time, I'm going to be become a better person for my daughters, for myself, for my daughters, for my girl, for my family. They deserve it. I deserve it. Regardless of what's happened to me or how I feel about this or that, I have got to, I am going to stop this curse. Because I feel like it's a curse, man. I ain't going to lie. It's, this, it's a disease. It's a curse. Whatever you want to call it. I feel like that. But I am going to step up. And I'm going to stop this shit. I'm gonna, I don't want my daughters to feel like this. I don't want them to see anything. I don't want them to go through any kind of pain in life. I want to protect them at all cost. And that starts with me getting better health for myself physically and mentally. I don't want to be a piece of shit anymore. See you guys in the next video.